This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Westo Bottle Shop and Bar. In the Delmarva Life kitchen today, we're in just a few minutes. You'll be able to consider yourself a wine connoisseur. <laughs> and this is the person who's going to see to that. We do have Sarah Hanbury, the owner of Westo Bottle Shop and Bar. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me Thanks here. And happy Friday. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we have a lot to cover today, but first yes, we want to learn do. a little bit more about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, my husband and I own a, a beer, wine, and liquor store on Route 50 in West Ocean City, the mm -hmm. Westo Bottle Shop and Bar. And so we've been selling wine for, gosh, going on 18 years now. Wow. So picked up a little bit of knowledge here to there. And, you know, we don't like to consider ourselves wine snobs, more like wine geeks, because we know just more information <laughs> about wine than one really needs to. So today we're going to learn. Yeah, the you're going to help us out. You're going to help us as far as the, the what is it, the five S's of yes, tasting, right? Wine 101 basic stuff. Okay. All right. All right. So okay. the first S is C. <laughs> yes, yes. So I've got four different wines here, four different grapes in front of each of us. So we're going to see that they're a different color just by looking at them. Mm -hmm. And often, if you need to, you can use a piece of white paper to actually see what color you are. So you'll see that these are in ascending, you know, lightest to darkest. Okay. So now you see the second S is to swirl. And it is not just something wine snobs do. You are putting air into the glass this juice has been shoved up tight in a bottle for however long oh. so this is the first time that we pulled the cork and put it in this glass so we're adding oxygen back in here to open up all the flavors so you're going to be able to taste the flavors of the wine better better by putting air into it yes okay. it's the same idea as a decanter you're adding air into it so is that what they mean when they say let uh, wine breathe yes you're opening it up i mean this has been like i said shoved in this bottle for however long okay so that's why you Swirl. Swirl. Okay. Third S. Smell. Okay. Smell. And this is a fun trick I like to do is you can put your hand on it. All right. And then and then put your nose in and get a good smell. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. And they all smell. Oops. <laughs> and they all smell different. Well, now what do we smell in the grapes? Because I smell the overpowering white grape, especially in the whites here. Yes. Well, this one. Tell me what you smell. I smell floral. White grape, very heavy on the white grape. Grapefruit, citrus flavors. Yes. Yes. Lemonish. Okay. That's right. And this one you're going to smell oak and maybe baked apple. Like heavier, not citrusy okay. fruit. Now that you mention it, okay, because I was sitting there, I'm like, how do you distinguish those smells? But you I smell get it now. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. I smell the oak. How about that? Yeah, okay. Third one you've got is a Pinot Noir. Okay. Let's see what I smell. <laughs> I'll just be suggestive here. You're going to smell like cherries and the brighter fruit. And wood, okay. I, like a, like a, like an oak flavor, like more oak. You got a good nose. Yeah, <laughs> leather. Sometimes you can smell leather. People describe it as barnyard. Mm. I know. They all smell different. Okay. So. Let me try this one. So this would be the Cabernet. That's going to have the richest of the smells. That'll be your dark plums. And Almost maybe tobacco. Some, yeah, tobacco, yeah, yeah. mocha, like dark cloves, those sorts of mm. rich and heavy. Are you supposed to get dizzy from all this? No, night? I know, I know. <laughs> so how hard are you breathing in here? <laughs> okay, so there you have it. We've seen, we've swirled, we've smelled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the next two are sip and savor. Okay. So to sip is to. Don't just let it go straight down. Maybe take a sip, swish it around, let all your taste buds open up and use your whole mouth inside. I know it's a little strange. <laughs> and then the savor is after you sip it and swallow, just think about what you just had. Think about it. Okay. We're starting with the whitest? The, yes, the lightest. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, right? Yeah, that's so very there good. So there you go. You hmm. s see, s <laughs> see, swirl, smell, <laughs> sip, and savor. You think about it. I'm savoring extra long right now. It's good. Right. And so let's talk a little bit about the sweetness of wine. Okay. So once you savor it, you want to think about the characteristics of wine. Now, I'm not here to say everybody's going to love this or everyone will love that. I also don't know how you take your coffee and how you take your coffee. Maybe you take a black and you put a lot of sugar in it. So we all have to figure out what we like 
And if you think about it, then you'll start to know which wines you prefer. Mm -hmm. okay. So all wine has a level of sweetness, whether it's non-existent or very sweet. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing you would think of. Another thing, when you taste wine, you want to think of acidity. Is it very acidic? Mm -hmm. Like, um, say, when you're cooking like a shrimp scampi, you add that extra bit of lemon and white wine and stuff to give it that zippiness. Mm -hmm. Or is it have very little acidity? So, so I've noticed with this one, this this has high acidity. That's this, right. It's very heavy at pear, I taste, and yeah. it is very high in acidity. But this right. one is a little less, but, but it's a little right. heavier on the on the oak, like you like we smelled earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and when you talk about sweetness, dry wine can be sweet, can't it? Dry wine is essentially the lack of sweetness. Oh, okay. The okay. lack of sweetness. Right. Tannins, high in tannins, am I right? Tannins, yes. So, tannins comes from the skin of the grape, okay? So, tannins, if you think about it, if you've ever had a wine and it made your tongue feel like you just licked a paper towel and you're like, mm, yeah, that's very dry, what the tannins are doing is it's adding some structure to the wine. Mm. So, it's, a and, and the tannins will smooth down and settle down as the wine ages, okay? okay? People don't age your wine too long. The majority of wine that you buy in a store is meant for consumption now. Yeah. There's very few wines that are meant to be, you know, given as a gift and drank 10 years later. Just open them up. If you have those wines sitting somewhere as a gift, just make so open them make up and drink today them this your weekend. celebration. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, open who knew this. there was so much to learn about wine?